Can you just explain what was going through your head and where you saw the opening? I just, you know, I kept growing for those last couple laps. I knew I saw them, and I was like, man, five laps, we can rest tomorrow. <laughs> What did you make of that last pass? I think he's a punk. No, um... <laughs> he told me that I'm using this night to get a feel for him. We're with the rest of the field, and he's right on their face. What is this? Look at that. Oh, man, Pike just shoved off the track. Freezy absolutely nailed Pike. Pike makes the pass, but Freezy's got the line. He blocks Pike, and then they, they connect bars there a little bit. I thought yeah. Freezy nailed him a little harder, but... Jeff, you, you, you know what happened there, right? Oh. He got, he got freezed. Then he came under pressure from Cornelius Toned out, but not for long. What a He's move. got second, and here comes Stewart, and there was contact there. Boom, oh man. He went from first to fourth hey. and the hard way. Yeah, he yeah. did. trip to a main and McConaughey got a wheel inside they make contact oh. out of the main event oh Billy McKenzie down again that's uh, City Curve that's coming out of turn three. Oh, has he been taken out by Ken oh I tell you what I tell you what Billy McKenzie and uh, Ken Dedeika this is round five at Monster Energy Supercross you're watching semi number two for the 450s and what a battle in this final transfer spot, and she saw one rider get shoved all the way off the racetrack as Poppy cuts down on the inside. There's Nicoletti, takes him right to the top blocks, shoves him right up and in and off. It's loose at Stoney. Oh, right up the inside, and Ferrandis goes down. Meanwhile, at the other end of the back, the leaders flash over the finish line jump and sorts themselves up. And right behind him was rider number, whoa, number 26. <laughs> that was Ty Davis. Davis basically got there too late. He wanted to get in front and then make that move. And instead, he came in and just basically clobbered McGrath. And we talked earlier about a block pass. And I think uh, if the Broncos had had that kind of blocking, they'd have done well. David Millsaps. Holds that third position. Whoa, oh, Anderson. As Anderson gets right into Millsaps. Oh, oh no. Like Cross got Moran's. Oh, here Moran's is going to go for it right here. Had to. Oh, had to. Shoulder check. All bets are off yeah. in the last chance qualifier. Again. Kevin Moran's. Look, he looks over. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I don't know what he's looking at. Do I got it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, Kevin Moran's into the main event. Yes, twice he has been fast qualifier, including our last race at High Point, and he clearly wants to be fast qualifier again to get out of the way, everybody. Wow. And watch Faye oh, get to the inside. Oh, boy, is oh, right. See ya. Oh, oh man. That That's going to oh. put Vincent back to 20th. Now here, Jim, a battle for second place between uh, rider number 606, Tom Kelly, and Brad Majewski going around the outside. Whoa! Kelly wants to go to the main. Here comes Majewski. They lock. And Brad hits him. Who's going to go to the main? It's Majewski. They lock handlebars in that turn. Squares up underneath them. Everything is looking good. They come together right there. They lock handlebars. They're stuck together. And then they finally break away, and Majewski gets that second place finish. And uh, I did whatever I had to do. I tried getting him on a catapult before that. I had him had him in the corner. He still ended up getting in front of me. But uh, I, he hit me a little harder than most people would. But. Uh, I guess it's just racing. I, I opened the door and he took it. You can see the little white specks. They're all little small stones. The roof's punishing. Oh, oh! Problems! Josh Hill was going for the pass. Hill had the pass coming in. Oh. He had Bobby vulnerable. Was the nice guy. And Bobby parking, parking, kissing. Bam! Through the whoops, you hear the crowd. Watch what Marsha does right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Anderson down! Basha wants that spot. Basha says, not so fast. Yeah, and he tried to close the door on Barsha, and he knew that was coming, and there was nothing he could do there. And I feel sorry for Jason Anderson. I feel like he was teamed up on tonight. Um, he won here last year. He needs to win again today to keep himself in this battle. And he oh, does! Oh, and she draws down! That's going to change the entire picture of this season in a hurry. He breaks. Marvin tries to get to that line. And so Cincerella just, when they touch the front end, sort of tucks, throws him over. Oh, that 
that's not what Adam wanted. And you can see the hand guard is down. Is that are the bars bent at all? Does he have his front brake? Is it going to throw him off? Ryan Berry putting on the board. Must pass. Out down the middle of the racetrack. Lust way out on the outside. Now steeply downhill. Dow dives for the inside line and has it. Oh, they come together and down goes Lust. Pretty aggressive move by Dowd, but uh, you know he—I don't think that was dirty racing, really. It was—it was pretty fun, though. I, I'm sure he, he's not too happy, but uh, you know that's racing. We got a little—a little too close there, and the, the off-camera turns, and uh, we tangled a little bit, but it was fun. <laughs> so, ooh, a little nudge there. Oh, nice. He's trying to push it out. What he has? Great little aggressive line up the inside and forces Gibbs off the side of the track. Watch Moss just dove it up the inside. Gibbs tried to keep that momentum going around the outside, but there was simply nowhere to go. So about half a lap remaining. Webb's going for it. Here he comes. He's going inside. Oh, and he pushes Bowers into the top blocks. Cooper Webb with one of the most aggressive moves of the year makes a huge statement here tonight at Anaheim. Look at that. It's just so aggressive. Took the line slid into him a little bit and Bowers didn't back out of it enough. He goes over the tough blocks. I think the pass was good. You know, I expected it going into the turn and, um, you know, I would have done the same thing except I probably wouldn't have been as nice. There he is. A lot of struggle oh, through that. Right down goes Mike. Oh, and he is not happy about freezing at all. That's going to cost him. This, though, was totally intentional by Freezy. He goes in really aggressive. And it is going to cost him a lot. And he's going to try to make a pass real quick. Oh, this might be quick. There it is. It's oh! all the No, Roxon's down. Anderson stays up. I don't believe that was intentional. I think no. the two lines came in together. Now, Jason probably thought he had the pass made right here because he was ahead of him. And he was. Didn't anticipate Jason being there. The fight is on to the finish line jump. Through the sand. Oh. Bit of a bobble for both. Sabachi cuts across. Tomac back to the inside. Oh. He's down by Willie. Oh. Pushes him off. Sabachi right back on course. Tomac goes wide and takes the checkers. What a finish. Wow. Oh, Sabachi is so bummed. He hey, was, that was right there. Wow. wow. Good, Good job for Savachi, though, man. You can't be disappointed in that.